For practice it, exercise 4.3 season, we are asked to write a method named season. So we started this right here that takes two integers as a parameter representing a month and a day and returns a string indicating the season for that month and day. So we're going to be returning a string here. We're going to have it be public static and we're taking integers month and integers day as parameter. I'm going to shorten this to D for a day and M for month. And our integers are only going to be from 1 to 12, and our number is only going to be from 1 to 31. So we don't need to do any error bounds checking. We are given this instruction right here, and we start at 12, 16, and 3, 15 should be winter, 3, 16, 6, 15 should be spring, and so on with the rest of these for summer and fall. So to start this off, we have to realize that we need if statements. We have four conditions right here. Since there's only four possible conditions, the best way would to be an easy if else um, statement or if else tree that goes all the way down. So to start this, I'm going to look at the spring part. I'm not going to look at the fall. I'm gonna do an if statement for my spring, an else if for summer, and then an else if for fall, and then finally end this with an else for winter. The reason why I'm doing this because how I'm going to code it will kind of mess this up based on it jumping from 12 to three. Um, it, it might still work, but I just feel more comfortable having this in an else statement right here because the numbers aren't exactly in order for the month. So to start this, we are going to look at this spring section right here. We'll have our if statement, and then we know that our month has to be greater than three, and then our day has to be greater than 16. So we'll say if our M is greater than or equal to three it has to be greater than or equal because it can still be in the same month. If month is greater than or equal and day is greater than or equal to 16, we are going to be in this if statement. However, we know that we also need to cap this at a month. This month we're going to, is going to be six. So we'll have an and statement and we'll do month has to be less than six. The reason why it's not less than or equal to six is because well, if we are in the sixth month and the day, and I just realized this should be um, an equal sign, so this should be greater than or equal to, but if the day is greater than or equal to 16 and we are in the sixth month, well, we are going to cross over into the next season. Right now, it's fine, but if we had an equal sign right here, if 616 was passed in, we would be in this if statement out, out, outputting spring when we should be in the next if statement outputting summer. So this is why this is just less than. M is less than six, while these are M is greater than three and day is greater than or equal to 16. We need another set of parentheses surrounding this because currently our month will only go up to five. It doesn't reach the sixth month. So what we need to do is look at code to include the six months or at least the 15 days inside of our sixth month. So we're going to be in here and we know that we should use an or statement because if this executes that means it's totally fine it's within 316 and 615 just not checking the last 15 days in this month however if we do want to check these 15 days we need to check these 15 days we need to have another part that looks at that which would be this part so we are going to have our month has to be less than or equal to six now. So our month is less than or equal to six. And then our day has to be less than or equal to 15 because it's going to be less than that. And then, well, we want to have a lower boundary for this. Otherwise this would just keep checking any low number. It would, it would go past three, it would go to one or the second month. So we need to have a lower boundary for this. We'll have another and statement. And then we will have month has to be greater than three. That way we know the month has to be greater than three. And the same reason why this um, month right here is not greater than or equal to is the same reason why this month right here, or I'm sorry, this month is not less than or equal to is the same reason why this month right here is not greater than or equal to because we have day has to be less than or equal to 15. Well, if day is 15 and we're in the third month, that means we are going to be crossing over into the winter season and we don't want to do that. So this is it for this if statement. These are all the, this is the only header. This is the only conditions that we need to have in our header. So we can close off this if statement and then just return 
the string, which is spring. If we test this by submitting it and write our semicolon and then add in just a test return statement, we can see that we passed three tests. But this is good because all of these are supposed to be outputting everything except spring. So all of these, the ones that we have errors on, are outputting just these double quotes and nothing else. However, the ones that we need to output spring for, output spring. That means this code works, we just have to change it to match the other months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code by doing control C, write in else, and then if again right here. So I pasted all of this code in, and now I'm just going to change it for the next month. So for this spring part, we have three and six. This next part, we have six and nine. So everything that was three and six in this code that we copied, I'm just going to change it to six and nine. So we have six, and then we're going to have nine here, and then this should be nine, and then this will be six. So that's spring done. Now we need to do fall. So we're going to have another else of statement for fall. I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. And then now we're just going to change everything that was six and nine to nine and 12 respectively. So this should be nine. This last one should be 12. This should be 12 and this should be nine. And then we are going to return spring. Now to get rid of our, to do our last part, we'll just have this else statement. We won't even put it in else statement. We'll just return. And what we're going to be returning is the string winter. So inside of here, we will just write winter. And I just realized I, when I copied this part and I changed the actual header, I never changed the string inside of it. So instead of returning spring, this should return the st string fall. And also this has to be changed to summer. Again, because I copied the header, but never changed the return. But if I change the returns, then I have passed all 13 out of 13 tests. So this is the code, the full code, with using if and else if statements to return a string for this exercise.